doing live. Live, live, live. In the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to be talking about faith without works is dead. This seems to be a very important topic that many people are on the way to hell for. So we need to talk about it. It's like a devil disease telling you y'all don't have to obey God. But we living in a devil world. Hold on, y'all be right back. And I hear the voice of many Getting old, getting old. All right, let's get into this. Enough of the games, enough of the crap, enough of the uh, devil stuff 24-7. Y'all got to start giving up your life and serving a holy God. This ain't about uh, doing what you want to do. Uh, you ain't got much time left, okay? And you can't be half in and half in, uh, half out of this uh uh, uh, serving God You got to give up the whole world And you got to serve God Will it be lonely? Absolutely But not. it's not lonely when you got God with you Because when you got God with you That means you get to talk to God all day Right? Like our brother Elijah and Moses And many other ones that uh, were uh, uh, Brother Paul Apostle Paul and uh, Peter They were you know, by themselves most of the time. They were in prison. They were in certain things. They were getting beat up. They were uh, 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 threatened to kill. Um, but many things. Listen, we in a devil world nowadays, man. That's telling you, you do not have to obey God. All right? They telling you, you can live and practice sin and be of God. And these people are being led to hell. We, listen. We expect this in the end times when a man can't tell you that uh, uh, to turn from your sins and walk with God. Uh, this man right here, Jack Ryan, uh, I'm sure he's one of them once, once saved, always saved people. Uh, 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 you can lose your salvation. Just ask uh, Judas. Just ask Saul. Just ask many uh, people that fail in the word of God These people are lost I mean this is where we're at with, with society now They think they don't have to obey God They think they could just make it to heaven by belief alone I mean these are fools In fact we're going to get rid of this guy here Because uh, nothing but a mock of God And God's word um, I actually I'm going to let y'all know I actually took my, my profile Off uh, uh, Private Alright uh, 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 if I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down swinging. All right, so we gotta get to the, get to the more people. We gotta get to the thing. Uh, 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 um, encourage people to get the word. Send them the word of God to, through me. Um, whatever you gotta do, you know what I'm saying. I'm letting that stuff slide. We gonna get off it. I'm gonna go back to private soon. You know, because we got devil children like this that you know just uh, uh, find anything they can just to. Uh, 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 re report and we're gonna get rid of him. You know, it, it, it's a sad world we live in. In fact, I gotta pray before I get people up on here. But I'm taking my stuff all private now. All right. So spread the word now. All right. Um, they gonna get rid of me off YouTube, Twitter, whatever it is. I don't care. I could care, care less. We'll just keep making profiles and we'll keep doing all these things until we get a uh, uh, reach more people. And that's the goal, right? To find God's people, bring them back to God, um, and, and just take chances. Unfortunately, that's what we got to do. Um, but yeah, man, there's a lot of devils out there like that guy uh, uh, over here, Jack Ryan. Some devil that uh, believes in one saved, always saved. In fact, I know the crew he hangs out with, and he don't even know that. He doesn't even know I know that. Um, but we want y'all to see this. We want y'all to start repenting for your sins. In fact, you, you contradict that word of God three times. Let me tell you something. We just going to get rid of you. God bless you. Block you. You ain't got to put up with no fools that are over here trying to act a fool. Right? Mocking God's word. Mocking God's ways. Mocking everything about God and, 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 and obeying God. Can you imagine the devils we live in today? 
where these people are calling themselves Christian and they are disobeying God. Disobeying God. And then they're giving you a license to sin. Man, I've had so many debates with once saved, always saved foolish people that, 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 are, that are fake Christians. Thinking they of God and they are on the way to hell. Don't even know it. Jesus said, whoever commit a sin is a servant to sin. Jesus also said, he, he that commit a sin is of the devil. And yet they will pass by these scriptures and act like they're not even there. They tell you you don't have to have works, which is obedience. Now, the works that Paul was talking about was the law, Mosaic laws, which uh, the Gentiles were grafted in by faith. All right? So he was more preaching about in the Romans chapter 3 verse 4 talking about how the Gentiles are can achieve and can come to, to God through Jesus Christ as well anybody can but these people take that what Paul said well you're not boasting by the works and, and this that and they say well you know that's not talking about uh, it's talking about the Mosaic laws a lot of them laws are done away with in fact the laws uh, 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 kill people alright in fact it, it, it brought people to death what they are saying when somebody says that you don't have to have uh, works is saying that you don't have to have obedience to God. They're liars. They are pure liars. One scripture said that faith without works is dead being alone. We, are, like I said, we are living in the, the last days. Christians refuse to obey God. They don't even want to hear that you got to turn from your sins to make it to heaven. Oh no, they hate what the scriptures say. They hate everything about Jesus. Tell me how many pastors out there are telling you exactly what God said from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Hey, turn from your sins and walk with God. You can't do that. We're all going to sin every day. We're just going to keep sinning and sinning and sinning. No, some of us like to serve God. Some of us ain't I got the spirit of Christ with them, the Holy Ghost. And they ain't out there sinning, living for their daddy, the devil. All right? See, they haven't experienced this Holy Ghost, this, this born-again factor where uh, uh, you repent for your sins. Man, then you get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And then you receive the Holy Ghost. They haven't done those things because, for one, they refuse to do all those things. And this is where... Uh, they make uh, repenting for sins. What Jesus said, you repent, you shall likewise perish. They say that, well, you don't need to repent. You don't need to get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't need to turn from your sins and make it happen. Now, all I got to do is just believe and I'm going to heaven. These are foolish people. Even when you show them the scriptures, they still deny them. And you cannot be of God denying Holy Scriptures. That's just the way it works. If any man you know, any woman, whatever, that, yeah, a donkey, a, a little penguin, he start denying Scriptures, guess what? That penguin ain't of God. He can shake his little head and flip it like this and do all that stuff. You ain't of God. They act like we wrote the Word of God. I mean, what in the world going on? I'm telling you what the scriptures say word for word, verbatim, and yet you're going, you think you're going against me? You ain't going against me, you're going against the God. That's God's word. That's God is the all. Well, you're taking scriptures out of context. You're taking them out of context. No! You can read up the whole chapter. Go all the way down to verse 22 or 26, whatever the verse is. That verse will not be erased. It's still going to be there. In fact, if I was to leave, <laughs> if I was to leave earth today, them scriptures ain't going nowhere. They get so mad when you tell people they got to turn from their sins and you will see the devil come right out of people. Just the way it works. Interesting we getting into that. Faith without works is dead being alone. Who are you lying to telling people you are a Christian or you are of God 
and you are not obeying God. You're lying to yourself. You're what? You're watching. Go to hell. You're watching yourself go to hell. I just, I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted at some of these Christians. I mean, how far are we falling off? They think, I mean, they, they, their whole mind frame is, I don't have to do anything. I can just be a lazy, and it's so easy to get to heaven. I mean, just, I don't have to read the Word of God. It's all in my mind. I, I mean, the reason why people are being led to hell, because they don't know the Word of God. So if they don't know the Word of God, how are they going to know how to make it to heaven? Some people know the Scriptures, and they still deny it. And go past them and act like they're not there. I don't need to repent from my sins. That is pride. That is pride. Pride will tell you you don't need to do something that God told you to do. That's the devil world we living in. So sad of a, of, of a generation. Um, But yeah, let's get into this. Faith without works is dead being alone. Um, I want to go ahead and bring up the scriptures where it talks about works. So that uh, um, uh, what they think that goes against God's word. So we're going to go to those right now. Galatians chapter 2 verse 6. Let's get going with this. Galatians chapter 2 verse 6. Alright. Don't ever let somebody tell you you don't got to obey God. You just know that's a liar. Some of y'all being tricked by these devils man. Being tricked. And they talked about it in the last days, people will be uh, uh, tricked by the devil, by false teachers. All right, Galatians chapter 2, verse 16, this is, the word, this is what they're going to use against y'all. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, the law, the law of Moses, unbeknownst to them, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ. And not the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. That is exactly right because we're not living in the Old Testament. So these are some of, these are what these devils are going to use against you. Talking about mm, the works of the law and this one, you know. What about the whole New Testament? You don't have to, you, 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 you. it's just like this. If a homosexual tells you you ain't got to obey God. I mean, well, he, he has faith, right? But he doesn't have to change. He doesn't have to work. He doesn't have to obedience. He can still make it to heaven. And, and, and if they believe what they believe, they're going to have to say yes. It's crazy. The works of the law. Mosaic laws only meant for Jews at that. So they were only meant for Jews, not for Gentiles. Also, I want you to realize. But Paul was rebuking the, uh, uh, the Jews that were holding on to not... Uh, hanging with the Gentiles And not letting the Gentiles come to the church Or not letting the Gentiles uh, be around them They were showing respect of persons So Paul was uh, uh, letting them know Hey listen they're grafted in by faith Faith, uh, faith alone Right Because uh, 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 any man It says if you could uh, One scripture says in, in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 It says that if we, if we uh, confess I'm sorry let me get to there real quick I don't want to misquote Jesus. I got a little bit more respect for him. And they say, well, no, Romans is his Paul. No, God is the word. And the word is God. All right, so we are in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that, that if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and shall believe in thy heart, God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. All you Gentiles that believe in Jesus Christ being God, all right, um. Uh, uh, uh. If you believe that you have faith, you can obtain the salvation of Jesus Christ. But it don't stop there. It don't just stop at faith. We don't just read about faith and forget about all these things that Jesus said to do. All right, and 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 and, and stop you from learning and obeying God's commandments. It's amazing to me the, 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 the people that are so lost in these last days because they're on the way to hell. They make up every excuse in the world not to obey Christ. 
we have, we we're all sinners. We're gonna sin. They're gonna keep sinning. We're gonna keep doing all this stuff. All I gotta do is have faith. Just leave me alone. We trying to save you from hell, and you got the nerve to say we got a false gospel. We going by exactly what the word of God say. You going by one scripture and saying this is what I believe. And we believe the same thing you believe. We believe that you got to have faith. Well, we don't stop there. We don't stop at the Romans 10, 9. We don't stop at the Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. And then don't go to verse 10 of Ephesians chapter 2. We don't do that thing. We don't do that stuff. You the one take your scriptures out of context. You the ones that don't want to accept the other scriptures that say you got to repent. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And then you got to turn from your sins. You're the one that's denying holy scriptures, not I. So we are living in the end times, y'all. Um, all right, so we're going to go to, oh, let's go to the famous verse. Let's go to the famous one that all lukewarmers bring up. Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 8 and 9. Let me tell you something. All lukewarm. All lukewarm. I call them fake Christians. Because you're a fake Christian if you think that you are serving God and you ain't got to obey God. You are a false, fake, booby Christian. You ain't obeying God. How can you be of God? What sense does it make for me to be a preacher out here I mean, they look at you like you're crazy because you told them that God delivered you from sin and you have stopped sinning. They look at you like you're crazy. What are you talking about? I can turn. I, you can't be delivered from sin. I'm just going to keep sinning. Nowhere in the scripture does it say you can sin and make it to heaven. Nowhere in the scriptures. These people are delusional. I mean, straight, reprobate, delusional. What can you help these people? How can you help somebody? That is so delusional. Do you still love them? Absolutely. If I didn't love them, I wouldn't say nothing to them. I wouldn't tell them, hey, listen, stop your sinning. I'd just be chilling in the pool with my Bible. You know what I'm saying? Do -do -do -do. Listening to some gospel music. But no. I got to go in there and get yelled at, tell me, and mocked, and all this other slander, and all this other stuff. All to try to save your wicked wretched soul I think it's really sad man that somebody trying to stick their hand in the fire trying to save you from that death and save you from hell and yet you would mock them you a child of Satan and you don't see nothing wrong with it you know when a lukewarm fake Christian goes into a, 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 a comes to agreement with an unbeliever, you know you of Satan. You just know you of Satan. When an unbeliever and a fake Christian, lukewarm Christian, come into agreement, oh, you know you of Satan. And you don't even see it. That's how foolish you are. You don't even see it. All prophets, all apostles, even Jesus Christ, God manifested in the flesh. Preached about the warning of the wrath to come from God for sin. Amazing. So they tell you you don't have to have works for obedience. But let's get into this. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 and 10. For by grace ye are saved through faith. It is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not of works. Yeah, it means. That's what they say, you know. That's what they, they, they put a little uh, fire into it. Not by works. Not of works, lest any man should boast. See, he's talking about not of works, meaning you ain't have to do nothing to attain the grace of God, which comes by belief, which is a gift from God. Grace of God is the unmerited favor of God. But you don't have the unmerited favor of God if you don't even believe that Jesus Christ is God. You don't have the unmerited grace of God uh, if you are sinning. These people are delusional. Look at Romans chapter 6 verse 1 and 2 when you get a chance. And Romans chapter 6 verse 14 and 15 which condemns that behavior. In fact, Titus chapter 2 verse 11 and 12 tells you 
that you can't be out here sinning. It doesn't teach you to be out here sinning the grace of God. So these are liars. All right. Not a works lest any man should boast. For we are, and then they, they always skip over verse 10. Why would they go to verse 10? Let me tell you, oh, why would you go to verse 10? For we uh, are his workmanship, created in workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. We should work, work uh, walk in God's commandments, God's word. What God said, what Jesus said, we got to do it. No, no playing around. What I forgot to do was go to Galatians chapter, I went to uh, Galatians 2.16, but I forgot to read 17, so I'm going to go back there. Um, so it says, uh, knowing a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we may be justified by faith of Christ and not a works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Verse 17. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves are found sinners. Is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. This is word for word what it says here, ladies and gentlemen. Word for word. Is God the minister of sin? What's, that, what's the answer to that question? That would be no. God ain't no minister to a sinner. We need to get that. We need to get this. I need to make this clear. I need to make this clear, y'all. Um, we are living in the end times. All right, so we got that out the way. I want y'all to think about it like this. We're going to go into this in a little while. Noah had faith in God. But he had to build an ark. He had to put that faith to works. Isaac. When he had, I'm sorry, uh, Abraham, when he had faith. But he had to put his faith to works. Meaning he had to obey God. He had to go out into the other lands. He had to go put his son on the altar uh, uh, for sacrifice. He had to obey God. Faith without works is dead being alone. Works is obedience. When they tell you you don't have to do no works. They're telling you you do not have to obey God. They are liars. Liars. Scripture contradicts their whole belief system. If it's too easy, y'all need to start questioning things. Questioning things, man. And God said it wasn't going to be easy. God said it was going to be the hardest thing you had to do to serve Him. You got to give up the whole entire world to serve Christ. You got to give up all your fleshly desires to serve Christ. And the only way to, to be delivered from that is through Jesus Christ's Spirit. Without Jesus Christ's Spirit, you are none of His. That's why you got to go through the obedience part. Repenting for your sins. Like I said, Jesus said, and if a man likewise does not repent, he shall likewise perish. Repentance is an act of humbleness. Repentance is a change of mind when it comes to sin. You confess it to the Lord. I'm wrong. You're right. Fix me. That's not repent and go back to the sin. Or keep sinning, keep you know, keep sinning to hell. Fools. Fools. Fools, man. We living in the end times. Luke chapter 13. Let's go there. Oh man, we living in the end times, man. I'm telling y'all. Can't stress this enough to you. Ain't nothing more uh -uh. Ain't nothing more working against the kingdom of God than dealing with a lukewarm fake Christian. Some of them are worse than unbelievers. Luke chapter 13, verse 23 and 27. Then one said unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? Oh, somebody got a question to Jesus. Are there few?
few that be saved. And he said unto them, Strive to enter into the straight gate. For many I say, many, for I say unto you, uh, for many I say unto you, will seek to enter in. Where enter in where? Heaven. And shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up, and a lot of those going to be Christians, the fake Christians. Hey, God going to cast them right into hell and they think they're going to heaven. Some of them people are so arrogant and, and, and whatever, they don't put themselves already in heaven. They have put themselves already, already in heaven, knowing they got to go through a judgment before they go anywhere. Some of them feel like they don't, they're going to just pass through judgment. When it says all will uh, 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 is appointed unto men to die, then comes the judgment. Now, some won't even make it to judgment sin for some are so wicked that they're going to be cast to hell. Some won't even make it there. As the scripture says in Psalms 5, 5. The wicked shall not stand in my sight. Thou hate all workers of iniquity, sin. Look that verse up. Alright. So when once the master of the house is risen up and have shut the door. And you begin to stand without. And to knock at the door. Saying, Lord, Lord, open up to us. He shall answer and say unto you, I know you not which ye are. I don't know who you are. Christians. Lord, you remember me? Lord, I did all these great works. I casted out devils. I, 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 I was at church every Sunday. I sang all these great songs to you. Oh, I honored you with my mouth and my lips. I know you not who you are. Why you don't know who they are, Jesus? Because they sinning. Ye work of sin. Depart from me. See you later. You're living in a delusion. I've never seen people so wicked. You know, back in my day, uh, uh, older people in the 1800s and 1900s. Man, it was never like it is now. Never. In fact, I never thought it would get to a day like this after studying history and studying stuff like that. How things were back then and this, that. You're lost. It's never been this bad like it is now. Christians that are living for the devil calling themselves Christians. You got unbelievers that are more morally uh, 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 right in a sense than a uh, 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 Christian. This is the day we live in. So I, I, I don't know you. I'm knocking at the door, Lord, let me in. I did all these works. I don't know you. Verse 26, Then shall you begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence. Man, we've done all these things. We... We, 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 we celebrated in church, man, we went to Easter Sunday, we went to, uh, uh, we celebrated your birthday on J uh, December 25th, which are all lies. Ain't, ain't picked up the word of God in years. And thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, Jesus, I tell you, I know you not whence you are, who you are. Depart from me. All ye workers of iniquity are sinners. All those out there sinning, depart from me, ye, ye worker of iniquity. Look what he said. Then shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then when you in hell, there's no more longer time to get right. There's no more mercy out there for the right. You chose not to obey God. You listened to a false teacher that was leading you to hell. That's your fault. Nobody else's fault but yours. And never would I put my salvation in another man. Never. Trusting man will lead you straight to hell off a cliff to hell. You be do 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 do. I'll be following this guy. Do, do. Right in the hell. Next thing you know, you wake up and you burn it. Everlasting torment and torture for the re excuse me for the rest of your life, for the rest for everlasting, uh, uh, me, everlasting forever. Cease to a uh, stop. Everlasting. So while you are listening to these people lying to you. 
Man, all you gotta do is have faith alone. That's it. You don't have to put you. You don't have to have works. You don't have to obey God. No. You fool. Foolish generation we living in. Why would you follow a fool to hell? Wouldn't you rather follow God? Why would you listen to a man? Let me tell you something. The majority going to hell. So the majority of the ones that, 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 that think they got it all right, they got it all figured out, guess what? You're on the way to hell. You're going to go right with the majority. It's like everybody walking off a bridge saying, oh, yeah, this is the right way. It looks good. It's easy. And you're being led right off a cliff to your death than hell. What's going on? What's going on with this generation, man? I mean, seriously. What's going on? Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, 23, going to say the same thing. Oh, we're living in the end times. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, 23. Not everyone that say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of God. Anybody, uh, kingdom of heaven, anybody that's calling on the Lord, Lord, is a Christian, a believer, right? But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name uh, uh, have cast out devils? And have we done so many wonderful works, Lord? Don't you know I got faith? I thought, I thought all I had to do was have faith and I'm going to heaven. That's what, that's what Johnny told me. Billy said the same thing. Armand uh, said the same thing. Caitlin said this. Said the same faith. My whole group, my whole group study was about faith. Didn't have to do anything. Didn't have to obey you. What would it? Wow. You shed your blood for the remission of sins. And Jesus is going to say. <clears throat> and then I will profess unto them. I never knew you. Look him straight in the eye. I never knew you. Depart from me. Meaning goodbye. Ye that work iniquity. Work sin. The reason why Jesus never knew them, because they were sinning. How could you know God out here sinning? You don't know God. And this is where the problem lies. Faith without works. If you ain't got, if you ain't got works to your faith, or, or you got works and you don't have faith, they go hand in hand. If I've got faith, i got obedience. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord? Why do you call me God? And you don't do the things that I say. That's what Jesus said. All right, let's keep going. Boom, boom, boom. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Looks like I'm going to be doing part 2 on this. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Alright. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Wherefore my beloved, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed. They're talking to a church that said, as ye have always obeyed. Not as in my presence only, meaning when I'm there, you obeying God, but when I'm when you at home and close doors are shut, you ain't obeying God. Not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out. Notice this word. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. One scripture says, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade me. I know the terror of the Lord. I know where you're going to go if we don't stop sinning. 
I know where sinners go. When you say, Kurt, well, you, well, you think you're better than everybody? No. No. Good try. What do you think you are? A sinless? No. Never have been sinless. In fact, I was one of the worst sinners there was. But I turned from my sins and I was delivered and freed by God. And once, once the Son has made you free, you are free indeed. That's the real God. That's the real Holy Ghost. Not this Jesus you made up in your head that all I got to do is have faith and I'm going to heaven. Not a scripture on this planet says that. Not a scripture on this planet. We're living in the end times. If you believe what you believe, then find a scripture that says you don't have to turn from your sins and you can make it to heaven. Find a scripture that says you don't have to obey God. Find these scriptures that y'all believe. Or I don't believe you. I don't care about your opinion, your ideology, your theology, your I'm this, that, crazy stuff. I don't care about nothing. God said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and do in, in of his good pleasures. God that worketh in you. God worketh in you. God live and dwell in him. You got the Holy Ghost. And you out here sinning. How? Who told you that lie? Who told you you was born again? There's people lying to you. I ain't got no to go for me. I ain't got no uh, uh, send me your money so I can give you some more word. No. This is all an attempt to save your life. I work for Jesus Christ. And not many do. Not many do. Not many willing to sacrifice everything they got. Uh, uh, everything they have to serve the, 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 the one true living God in heaven, which is Jesus Christ. Not many willing to do it. I don't, There's many men out there that talk about they got the Holy Ghost. Oh, they, 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 spoke, they spoke in tongues. But wait, wait, wait a minute. They, they, they healed the sick. And they, they casted out devil. And yet these fools are still sinning. The devil leading them straight to hell. They don't even know it. They think because they spoke in tongues, all of a sudden, they got the Holy Ghost. And they ain't, they ain't obeying God. They still sinning. The devil tricking you straight to hell. One scripture says the Holy Ghost comes unto them that obey him. He born again. He that is born again sinneth not. That's what the scriptures say. One scripture says in 1 John chapter 3 verse 6. Look at this. Whoa, look, whoa, 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 look at this. And we kind of going into two topics today. Because of, uh, I seen this post where there was a whole bunch of Christians condoning sin. And, and giving people a license to sin. Amazing. No fear of God. 1 John chapter 3 verse 6. I want everybody to hear this loud and clear. And go tell your friends. 1 John chapter 3 verse 6 Whoever abided in, in him sinneth not Meaning you got Christ in you You sinneth not Whoever sinneth Have not seen him Neither known him Now Explain that verse Lukewarm fake Christian That is out here sinning Practicing sin Condoning sin Giving people a license to sin. Denying holy scriptures that tell you got to turn from your sin. Explain that verse to them. In fact, bring that up to them. And you tell me to explain that. And watch a liar talk. Watch a snake in the grass come out of nowhere and lie to you. You can read. You can comprehend sentences and paragraphs like me. There's no way around this scripture. Be careful with these false teachers. Philippians chapter 2 verse 8. I'm sorry. No, that's not right. Oh, 
on back to that. Now let's read it. Let's see what Jesus did. did. And being found in fashion, mean the likeness of, of the shape of man. As a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death. So even Jesus Christ had to be obedient to, to, to the visible spirit of God that, put, that made that body. And had to go through all these things, suffering, uh, uh, rejected, um, not listening, but still was obedient to death. Titus, chapter 1, verse 16. Titus the turtle, I don't remember you. I remember your Titus. Titus the turtle. We're going to go to Titus. In fact, if I was ever to have a son, I would probably name his name Titus. That's just a cool name. Titus chapter 2. I'm sorry. Uh, Titus chapter 1, verse 16. Oh, look what it says. God says here. They profess that they know God. But in works, in disobedience, they deny him being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work a reprobate every good thing that God said you got to do everything that God commanded you to do they turn their heads to it they are reprobates they are destined for hell God then gave them over to a reprobate mind and once you got that reprobate mind, hmm, it's going to be hard to break out of that lie. Oh, let me tell you something. You got to humble yourself or God will cast you into hell. You say, well, what does reprobate mean, Kurt? What does that big word mean? It means a sinner. That is predestined to damnation. God that gave you over to a, 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 a reprobate mind. To go do the things that you want to do. Go sin and go uh, uh, practice sin. And go get comfortable in sin. And go serve the devil. Leaving you over to damnation. As it says right here. And unto every good work. Every un, a good Look at the wording. Good work. Reprobate. Everything that God said you got to do and obey, you say, no, I ain't got to do it. No. no. Kurt, no. You're, you're preaching a false gospel. Fools. What y'all need to do is beware of these people. Because if you're not founded on God's word, these people will deceive you. I've seen it numerous times. I had to talk the devil up out of them. I mean, I had to rebuke the devil up out of them. See, Satan comes and blinds the mind of these people. They can't change. They reprobates, right? Reprobate people. So sad. A sinner who is predestined for damnation. Hell. That's what reprobate means. Look it up. You don't believe me. Alright, Titus chapter... Uh, uh, Alright. Alright, so let's go to James chapter 2. Let's get into this. Faith without works is dead. They'll deny these scriptures too. Oh, this means this, uh, what it really says is this and that. They're trying to change the scriptures. So foolish. It con you know why they're trying to change the scriptures? Because it contradicts their whole belief system. James chapter 2. You t that man said, all I got to do is have faith and I don't have to obey God. I don't have that work and I'm going to heaven. You take it right here to James chapter 2, uh, verse uh, 7. Uh, uh, let's start at verse 14. What do it profit, my brethren, 
Though a man say he have faith and have not works, obedience, can faith save him? That's a question mark. Three questions. Guess what they are? No. Answer is no. You can't just have faith. You got to obey God, you devil child. Verse 15, if a brother or sister be naked and destined of daily food, and one of you say to them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding you give them not those things which are needful to the body. What do it profit? Meaning, you can't say you have faith, and you're not even giving to your brothers and sisters, meaning you have in charity. For charity covers a multitude of sins, as one scripture says. Giving without looking for something in return. And it ain't always about money. Giving your time, giving your ears, whatever it is. Giving your affection. Verse 17, you devil children. Even so faith, if it have not works, it have not obedience, is dead. Being alone. Alone. Dead. Your faith is dead without obedience. You lying to yourself and you lying to others. Verse 18, yea, a man say though has faith. He ha he got faith. And have uh, 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 have works. Oh, I'm sorry. Yea, and a, a man may say, thou has faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, your obedience. And I will show thee my faith by my works, by my obedience. I will show you I live for God by my obedience. One scripture says you will know a tree by its fruits. A good tree can't produce evil fruits and an evil tree can't produce good fruits. That's what the scripture says. Jesus said that. Verse 19. Thou believes there is one God. Thou does well. All you Trinitarians. Thou believe that there is one God. Thou does well. You say you don't have one. You say you don't have three gods. But yet, you say you got one God, three people. So, so foolish. So, 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 so foolish. Contradicts your own state. Your own belief system contradicts itself in one paragraph, in one sentence. One God, three people. Makes a lot of sense. Good luck trying to uh, teach that to people. I'm sure you're going to bring a lot of people to Christ on that one. Verse 20, I'm sorry, uh, thou does well. The devils also believe. So the devils also believe and tremble. They also believe in one God. But wilt thou know, O vain man, meaning, O prideful man. These are prideful people that tell you all you got to do is believe and have faith and not have obedience to it. But wilt thou know, O vain man, O prideful man, that faith without works is dead? Don't you know this? Question mark. Do you know, O prideful man that faith without works is dead he talking to you God talking to you you don't have obedience to God you don't have no works to show who you are you don't have no obedience to God and yet you going around calling yourself a child of God boy you are delusional reputable Verse 21, we're going to illustrate some of the stories of faith in the Bible. That's how you got to have works. From the Old Testament to the New. Was not Abraham our father justified by works, by obedience? When he offered Isaac his son upon the altar? That's the question. All he had to do was just believe that Isaac, that he had to put Isaac on a thing. Believe God when he said you got to put Isaac on a thing. No, he had to put that to obedience. In fact, God showed me a dream on baptism and why it's so important that you get baptized in Jesus Christ's name. And he brought up the story of Abraham. It's one thing to believe, God was telling me. It's one thing. And it's counted as righteousness. 
But it's another whole duty of life and a whole duty of man and a whole respect for God. When you put that belief to works, obedience. And he was showing me how he honors and respects them taking the time out your day to go get baptized in his name, traveling miles to get it done. That's what God honors. Faith is one thing, and it's counted to his righteousness. But the obedience, the works, doing what God told you to do, is what God really honors. And when he, and when he was showing me how he honors it, um, where he blesses you. This was a dream I had. Woke up, said, well, wow, amazing. God speaking to me in a dream. And it's not the first time. Many times God speaks to me. Why? Because I'm obeying God's commandments. There was I always getting these dreams? No. When I started to obey God, that's when everything changed. And it wasn't by me. I had to start walking out in faith. I had to start walking when I'm talking. My audio has got to line up with my video. All right. And it says, verse 23, in this, oh, I'm sorry, seest, uh, uh, and, he's, and he brought up this story to say, listen, seest thou how faith worked with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? So without the obedience, you just having faith ain't going to work. It ain't just about faith. One thing to have faith, but to put it to action, well, you on a whole different, you on a whole different, uh, 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 a time then. You're in a whole different way then. And the scripture was fulfilled which said Abraham believed God and was imputed unto him for righteousness and he was called the friend of God. You see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. This is what the scriptures say. It contradicts their belief system. Take him here. And not by faith only. So you can't just have faith. He had to put it to obedience. Same thing with Rahab. Look what it says here. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot, the whore, justified by works? Was she not justified by works? Meaning she believed. This is what happened. She heard about the story of, 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 of Moses and how they, they parted the red, that God parted the Red Sea so they could pass by. They heard the story. She believed it. But she had to hide the spies that came from Jericho uh, 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 into Jericho. She had to believe. She had to act on that faith. And she did. She hid them. Justified by work when she received the messengers and had sent them out another way. She sent them on a different path so they wouldn't be caught. For as the body without the spirit is dead, without this spirit in your body that's living and moving these arms and this brain and whatever it is, um, the spirit that's working the body, the vessel that God lets you lend it unto you for a little while, which is holy temple, not a temple to defile through sin. For as the body without my spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Your faith without obedience is dead. Doesn't mean nothing to God. That's just like saying, well, I believe in Jesus Christ and yet I'm going to still stay a homosexual or a drag queen or I'm going to be a drunk or I'm going to be lusting, fornicating, and adultery. You're living in a reprobate, delusional mind. And any pastor that's telling you you don't have to turn from your sins and that you don't have to obey, meaning work, he's a liar. And I'm going to show you all the scriptures where they lie on God's word. And this is why we expose false teachers. Because these are number one people leading y'all to hell. I say, Kurt, well, you exposing my best pastor. Well, your pastor going against God's word. It's his morning and yours. Take them both. 
you will never in your life see me go against holy scriptures. They will never have a video of me exposing me from your friends talking about uh, uh, he's wrong on this scripture. Impossible. Impossible because I stay, I stand on God's word. I would know them and you would know them by them standing on God's word. You will know who is of Christ by them standing and living off God's word. I challenge anybody to try to expose me. What you gonna expose me? Go, uh, stay, uh, 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 <laughs> me going by what the word of God said? <laughs> I dare anybody. Oh, uh, right. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20 and 21. I have to do a part two because uh, I got many more other things I want to talk about and then my next sermon is coming up soon they're going to be talking about fasting grace uh, religious foolishness I got a bunch of things ready to go um, uh, I just uh, I've been very very busy uh, I'm doing word of God studies every two or three days I got to be out there in the streets preaching I got to be out there in the social media world preaching I just got to be everywhere, all right. I got, I, I'm, I, and I'm helping others at the same time, uh, everyone. And don't think anybody that's asking for help that I'm too busy for you. No, all that other stuff going on the back burn for y'all. When you become a servant to Christ, you become a servant to His people. And whatever y'all need help with, I'm here for. So don't ever think that you bother me. In fact, I'll be right there with you. Give me some time. It's like I got to put everything down when y'all ask me questions and I go right to y'all. And it's a lot. It's a lot of people. I'm growing. All right. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20 and 21. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep. Somebody had told me one time that Jesus ain't the shepherd. Shepherd of the sheep. Through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Make ye perfect in every good work to do his will. Uh-oh. Make you perfect in every good work to do his will. Working in you that which is well pleasing in the sight. Through Jesus Christ to whom be glory, and, uh, glory forever and ever. Only through Jesus Christ can a man be obedient to God. Can a man turn from sin. Only by Jesus Christ. Don't let these people lie to y'all. Oh, no, no, no. Don't let them lie to y'all. They, they leading you to hell. They telling you you ain't got to obey God. Oh, we living in the devil world now. No pastor, no preacher, no apostle, no prophet, no nothing, no bishop, no priest ever taught anywhere in the Holy Scriptures. That you ain't got to obey God. Works. You're liars, bro. Alright, so we gonna... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna end it for uh, tonight. Uh, today. We're gonna get right back into this. I got a whole bunch... I got a whole chapter going. Alright. But, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you watch over us. God has protected us. Um, continue to uh, be our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, and deliver us from evil. Deliver us from those that are going against your word, Lord. Uh, deliver us from every false teaching and every false way that's trying to hinder us from you. Open the minds of them that believe, uh, 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 that don't have obedience to the, your word, and that have been reprobates in their minds. And Lord, that we ask that you just show them your way and show them the the the, the uh, uh uh the right way and stop believing a lie uh we ask that you just take the scales off their eyes lord and that they start getting in the word of god and learning the truth and stop following men and pastors to hell in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ we pray <coughs> in the name of jesus god bless you